Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be going over some of the initial mods that I've done to my uh, brand new Yamaha MT-07. Now it's a 2023, which is exactly the same as a 2024. I have about 300 miles on it so far. And I was trying to get to 600 miles as soon as possible to get to the break-in service. But the uh, weather has been really bad. Uh, but anyway, before we start with the mods, let's just talk about the stands. So uh, for this bike, there is no hole for the spools on the swing arm. Usually bikes come with holes here on the swing arm somewhere where you can install spools so you can get, you know, a stand here on the spools and lift the bike. Now the only option to use spools on this bike is if you get uh, rear axle sliders that you install here, and then uh, the spools stick out right here. But the thing is, this Harbor Freight um, uh, stand, this is not wide enough. So this is 13.5 inches, and most of the Amazon ones are 13.5 to 13.8 inches wide, and it's not wide enough to get it, you know, get the, get the stand on here, because the spools are sitting like right, spools are sitting out like right over here instead of right here. Uh, so I found a different solution. I found a stand with the L, you know, with the L bracket right here. So this came as a set with the front and the back for about $60 on Walmart. I'll provide a link. Uh, I ordered a thing called company named Bantism, but I got a, when I received it, it says Vivor. Now, Vivor, that company, if you go to Amazon, they have it also. So I'll provide a link for that. Uh, I didn't think it would be as stable as a spool stand, but it's actually very stable. I like it. Now, the front, um, as you can see, this is not fixed, so it's like a spring. So putting it on is kind of a hassle. But after it's on, it's pretty stable. So what you need to do is you need to take your left hand, bring it out, and you see where I put it, right underneath here, right? Then you need to hold it in the spot that you want. And with your right hand, at, at the same time, don't you can't let go of this, at the same time, you also gotta kinda use your right hand to bring it to the spot you want. And while you have both of the uh, both sides, you're holding both sides with your hand, you kind of got to bring this down a little bit in order to make it a little tight so it doesn't move. Then you can let go of the hands and then you can lift. Now it takes a little getting used to, but um, after you get the bike on the rear stand, the front is, you know, you can mess up and, and the bike won't like fall or anything. So it's already stable. So that's when you do the front. So whenever you put the bike on the stand, you wanna do the back first, then the front, and when you take it off, you take off the front, then the back. Um, so the first mod that I did was I put the uh, foam mount. Now this is the standard, you know, quad lock handlebar mount, motorcycle handlebar mount. The pro version is black versus the sander version, which is blue. Uh, but I already had this. Um, and the only logical place that you can place a handlebar mount is like right here. This is the only place where the brake is. Right here, you see it? And you need to use the biggest uh, washer they have in the quad lock. And it's kind of hard to get in here at first, but use the biggest washer and it's very stable. Um, now I've seen um, some YouTube videos where they have it up here, like in, um, they have it like up here, like this. Now that looks okay, right? But I never use my phone in landscape. The only times I use my phone in landscape is if I'm watching something or if I have it connected to my car 
and I'm using like Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, but this doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So, you know, I'm never gonna use it like this. And putting it up here, it may look okay from this side, but if from the, from the front, it's gonna look weird. So that's not a really good, um, it's not really good. So the only logical place is put it on the side like this. Now, Koala came out with like a brake fluid, you know, mount that mounts to here or that mounts to this. But yeah, there's just not enough space. This is the best part, best uh, section to mount it. Now, what I had was when I had the mirror up here, the regular mirror, standard mirror, I had this over to here. So it was like, up here. What I didn't like about that is a little too high, okay? So after I got the bar ends, I made it even with the handlebar and I put it down here. Now, if you install the phone, it's like this, okay? And then I can go to uh, landscape if I want. So this is um, how I did the um, foam mount. Now, the next upgrade that I did was this rear rack. Now you can use this with the top box or you can use it with like any bag. Um, now, when you install this, now this is an OEM part from Yamaha. So when you install that, what happens is there's like, wait, which side is this? Okay. There's like um, this wing that's like right here. I think like right here. Where is it? Yeah, like right here that you need to remove. Um, it comes with this rubber thing that blocks the hole right here. But the thing is underneath, it's just open like this. And that's normal. That's how it's installed. Now I saw on YouTube where some guy uh, used like longer screws here to like kind of fit this in here with the, um, uh, with the side. But the thing is like if someone sits here they're gonna be like pushing this against th this and you're gonna damage it. And then, you know, if it was easy as getting longer bolts, I think Yamaha would have done that already. So I don't think that's really good. So, I, you know, I didn't try that. But even without the bag, it looks, it looks pretty good, even without a bag. Now, I did get a bag like this right here. So that's, that's a tail bag. Now that's the medium size, smaller size bag. It's a company called Rhino, Rhino Walk. It's really high quality. It's like a Chinese company, but unlike cheapo, like cheap bags, this, this is really good. It's got like a um, you know, waterproof seal here. It's got like a lot of features inside. Now for regular riding, I'll just put this bag on here like that. But if I'm traveling, there's a double the size of this version, exact same model. Um, and I'll put this right here. And then I'll put the bigger bag in the back and there's a matching um, tank bag that I'll put on the tank for like, if I wanna go traveling. But even without the bag, it still looks okay. With the bag, it still looks okay. Um, okay, so the reflectors, you see, I got one, two, and I got three uh, rectangle reflectors in the back. I got one, two, and I got three 
right here. So I took those off. I got real cheap, like gloss black um, spray paint from Lowe's for like $2. I put it in a box and I sprayed, sprayed them about five, six coats every five minutes. Make sure you clean them real good. You, all, you gotta take them off first. And then you spray paint them. I did gloss black because it's a reflector. Um, and you gotta do like five, six coats evenly every five minutes. And um, yeah, it looks really good. Make sure you get the sides. And instead of having the orange and the red, it looks really sleek. And the next thing I did was I got the frame sliders. Now this is the Shogun frame slider with no like graphics or anything, it's 50 bucks. There's, they're on Amazon or Psycho Gear or whatever. Uh, they're, they're supposed to be pretty high quality. Uh, there's a upgraded version of this, which is like, it has the Shogun like logo and stuff, which I don't like. Um, yeah, so if you go on Amazon, you'll see Shogun. And then there's another brand called DMD. They're, they're the exact same, they're the same company. Um, but this frame slider probably, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna protect this part if you have a fall. So I don't know, maybe I should get something for here on both sides. Uh, AliExpress had something like that uh, that was available. Uh, now, if you look up here, I got my garage door opener, like mounted right there. I use like high quality outdoor um, sticky tape. It doesn't move, it's really good. Um, now, the next thing I did, I got the fly screen, which doesn't do anything, it's just for style. So this is like the copy of the um, OEM one. OEM one's like 100 bucks. This one was eight bucks, AliExpress. Now, when I received it, I had, it had some film on it. Um, I couldn't remove it with Windex, so I was gonna return it. Then I tried uh, WD-40 and everything came off. The only issue with this was there was a little scratch right here, but you can't really see it. But for eight bucks, what are you gonna, you know, eight bucks, seriously. And uh, I ordered a you know, there's an OEM sports screen, which is a little bit higher and wider. Um, I ordered like a replica of that also in AliExpress for 20 bucks. So I'll be getting that soon. Uh, maybe that will give me a little bit, little bit of a wind deflection because I'm going to be traveling with this bike. Um, also from AliExpress, I got this radiator guard. I think this was 13 bucks. Uh, no brainer, it's real cheap. Uh, the only thing is this came a little warped. So you have to kind of bend the uh, metal to make it flatter. And then this top part, uh, before you install it, bend it like over, over a little bit so it hugs the top. And then you use the existing, uh, existing hardware. And on the bottom, you see this part right here? There was like open spot here, so I had some kind of rubber thing. So I put it right underneath. So it's very stable. So make sure after you install the radiator guard, if there's any rattling sounds, then you gotta either tighten or do something because it's gonna be annoying if it, there's rattling. But this is um, for 13 bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, the next upgrade that I did was the bar and mirrors. Now, I had these bar and mirrors that are specific for the MT-07 from AliExpress. But the thing is on the throttle side, it was sticking. So I'll show you a quick video. Okay, so the um, only one that was actually where you don't need to do anything special, like getting special washers or trying to do something different, was this one, which is the um, MZS um, 
um, bar and mirrors. And then there was another one, poison scorpion, but the poison scorpion one was like, like a triangle shape and looked kind of ugly. So I returned that one, but it's got the exact same um, setup. So basically, you see that um, metal piece? Oops, you see that metal piece inside right there? That threads into the thread that's in here. Then you're supposed to put this in between, in between this and that metal piece. But when I put this on here, this sticks to the grip, so the throttle sticks. So I don't know. So I removed this. I'm not using this. I'm just using this end part. And then when you put that end part on, you screw it, screw it in with this. And then it's solid as a rock, no shaking. Um, I have it out here. It's like a convex lens. So although it's really small, surprisingly, uh, the view is excellent. And I had um, bar and mirrors on my previous bikes. This doesn't shake that much at all. And usually um, what I suggest is, you know, like these screws right here, wait, focus. These screws right here, I usually um, lock tight them. But for this one on the on the on Amazon, it says it's already got Loctite on them. So let me just use it for a while and see what happens. But it's really solid. I really like it. I like the style, um, and hopefully it lasts. Um, and then after that, I what I did was I got the USB charging. Uh, now. This is a replica of the Yamaha OEM USB. There's a bunch of videos on how, you know, installing this. Uh, the connection is like right, right here. All you gotta do is remove this and remove this. It's not that hard. Now, I did that and then I discovered there was an extra like a auxiliary port. This is a 2023, and all the videos on YouTube are 2020 or 2022 or older. Uh, so uh, here's a video real quick. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm installing the uh, USB, um, USB connection to my MT-07. Um, now I wasn't gonna make this video. Um, because the YouTube, there are a bunch of YouTube videos uh, showing how to install this, and they're and they're very good. But it looks like most of the videos are for 2020 or old, 22 or older. So there's slight differences. So as far as taking off this part and the side fairing is the same. But the thing is, it looks like there are two auxiliary ports on my 2023 MT07. There's this one, and there's the white one right there. So in the YouTube videos that you see online, most people use this white one because they don't have this gray one. So it looks like I have two auxiliary ports. Okay, so um, if anybody knows what that gray one does, let me know, but I connected to this, it doesn't work. So I have to use the white one that's behind that metal thing. Um, now, all the videos on, on YouTube about the USB, uh, they use, uh, they have like 2022 or older with the old older uh, dash. Now the older dash, they, use, they have some space right here where they use this bolt and they put the bracket like coming out here and they put it here. Now here with the new display, you can't really get to it. So I was searching the best spot. Trust me, I tried multiple spots and I found that this bolt right here is the best space. So like you can put it on either side. There's the bolt, there's a washer. So I put it in between the bolt. And so I put the bolt, 
the bracket, then the washer, and that makes it tight. If you, if you use bolt, washer, then the bracket, then the bracket you know, seems to come loose. So you gotta do bolt, bracket, then washer, okay? And then you see how I angled it right here? Put it right here. Um, it's, it's hidden, okay? And then uh, if you get a different windshield, they, most of the windshields are gonna, I'm going to mount right here. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem. And then uh, you see how this wire, you can either put this on this side, so the wire is on this side, or the wire is on this side. So I put it on this side because it would hide, it would hide the uh, other like wires better. And it's not, it's not straining, it's, there's plenty of looseness here, so don't worry about that. So I put it, put the wires underneath here, zip tied it underneath here and connects right here and the extra I just put it uh, beneath that metal thing that was there um, yeah and it works fine the only thing is it's not quick charge it's like standard charge so uh, if I can find like a quick charge one that would be better but for emergencies it's fine and then I got these uh, mirror blockers from AliExpress, like they're like $2. The only thing is, in order to get this logo to point this way, I had to get some washers. And then I put it here, it looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's, much, that's pretty much it for like upgrades. So I got like a new windshield that's coming, that's a little bit bigger. And then I also got axle sliders, both front and back, kind of like this material with no logos, because I don't like having like big ugly logos on them. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna do a tail tidy, because uh, since I'm traveling and I'm gonna have bags up here, um, I want some, if I don't have a tail tidy, it's going to get mud all over. I don't live in New York City with all the cameras, so I don't really need to tuck in my license plate. It's fine. And also this tail tight, uh, this fender with this metal, with the design, it's actually, to me, doesn't look bad at all. It makes the bike like stretch out a little bit so it doesn't look stocky. Yeah, so it looks okay. So I'm gonna keep the tail uh, as far as the exhaust, I'm not going to do anything. It's just too expensive. And also, uh, no matter how good an exhaust you get um, and how good a tune you get, you get a fuel commander, you get a tune, uh, it's still going to suffer. The uh, miles per gallon is going to suffer. And since I'm going to be, I'm planning on traveling a lot with this bike, I don't want to mess around with the um, MPG, and also, you know, it's under warranty. I don't want to touch the ECU. Um, yeah, and the keychain I got from eBay, kind of overpriced, but this, this looked unique, so I got that. So that's pretty much it. Um, so look out for some more videos. I'll, I'll make some uh, new content soon. And thank you for watching, and see ya.